I'm starting out with my gator board. I prepared two little paintings by doing some masking ahead of time. This is my source photo on the right, or excuse me, on the left, my left. Um, I have some tools over here. I'll talk about those in a minute. I have my palette to the right. I'm a right-handed person. So I have my palette to the right. I have a terry cloth towel to control the water on my brush. I have my water up and to the right, two bins. If you don't have uh, one bin with two se sections, probably need two bins. I use masking tape to secure my paper to my board. I'm painting on, it happens to be 300 pound rough. I think it might be Fabriano bright white, but I'm not absolutely sure. Um, normally I'm on Arches 140 pound cold press is my more normal paper. I have some paper towel handy in a holder that keeps it upright. This is my Viva cloth-like towels. I have a spray bottle also to my right, but not where I'm gonna knock it over. So not in between my paper and my water container. I use that for various things. Um, sometimes it's like my eraser. Um, my palette set up from warm to cool over here. So yellows, reds, violets, blues, green. On this side, there's my normal paints. Um, these are all what I call sexy colors. I interchange those in and out, but I have some dark blues and some dark purples, some different kind of reds, some burnt browns, um, and you know, sort of neutral colors. Sometimes I'll put a um, opaque white and opaque lavender over there as well, but those change frequently. These are pretty standard in my palette. So that's what I have to the right because I'm right-handed. Sometimes I like to piece of test or paper the same as I'm doing there just to test the uh, uh, strength of my pigment. Um, that's all I keep like handy. I try not to have anything between my palette and my board so I'm not tripping over things. I have tubes of paint and this one I need to replenish is my connected old coral. That's probably my favorite warm red. So I have that one out and then I like to put it away so I'm not tripping over it. Um, let's see what else. I have a whole cup. I like to put them in a cup to contain things. My, my station here isn't quite level so they don't like to have my brushes rolling all over the place. But I have my tools, I have a big brush, big flat brush. I have a palette and I, I don't have the one I like to use. I have a um, ruling pen to apply masking fluid. That's what I've used to apply masking fluid on this paper. I have a little snap knife as a hobby knife. Um, my most common brush, I can usually get through 90% of my painting. Um, most of my paintings I use this one brush for. It's a 9020 series uh, King Art brush number six. This is a number 16, I also like number 14. I like this one. It's a it's a, a little floppier of a brush. Um, I like to use that at the beginning stages and I can make different shapes with it easier. Um, uh, so it has a little more flexible stuff to it. A lot of people use squirrel brushes for that. Um, I also have a, a liner brush, also known as a rigger brush, has long floppy bristles. And I have a tiny brush somewhere. I have a fan brush handy. I never really use it but it's handy in case I do. And then I have this magic tree brush, um, angle floppy brush. Hardly ever use it, but it's handy if I ever need it. And then I have a tiny brush that hides in there somewhere that I use to um, sign my things. I often use this one as well. Okay, there it is. It hides real easy. A little tiny brush. This is the same series, 90, oh, 9350, a zero liner. It's not quite as long as that. This one gives me more um, character strokes. This one is good for signing my paintings at the end. Both of them are five zero in their series. I also have a mechanical pencil. It has number two graphite in it. I like these so I don't have to keep sharpening my pen. 
um, excuse me, my pencil, and then I have a kneaded eraser. I also have this harder eraser that still isn't too hard if I have some stubborn pencil marks, I can get a little more pressure on it. I also use um, Mr. Clean's Magic Eraser. You can get the generic brand. This might be a generic, but just make sure you get the kind that doesn't have any soap in it. I also often use um, wax for wax resist. I seldom leave it on the painting, but it's a nice way to save whites without having to wait for the paint to dry or the masking fluid to dry. Speaking of, this is the masking fluid I use, um, PBO drying gum. All masking fluid is problematic in some way, but I like this one because it tends to be inky. If you buy it in, it's all glummed up. You usually can get down to the bottom of the bottle and it's still pretty good. Um, so that's my general supplies. I also like to have a ruler handy with a sharp edge. I like the metal rulers. Um, I just never know when I'm going to need it. I tend to put my source photos in plastic when I'm painting on my own so I don't ruin the, the source photo, but for videos, it's kind of hard because there's too much glare on the source photo. So those are my supplies. I think I've covered everything.